so that's what we're doing. And Sophia, you said that uh, there was something you wanted to say when you were on camera. Yeah, um, I made some cakes and biscuits for you. You've cooked me some cakes? My word. This is probably not the time to be looking at the cakes because I'm getting very close to your dad. But not that bad. Just keep an eye out for John and I'll have a little look in. I got cakes and biscuits. So did you do the cakes or did you do the biscuits? I did the cakes, um, the biscuits and Anna did the cakes. All right, lovely. My name is Tim Palmer and I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of a farm strip in East Anglia. Welcome back to the vlog and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I fly for fun and basically record for my own interest and review. I like sharing my flying experiences, good and bad, and try to edit for enjoyment and storytelling. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment as it makes it all worthwhile. That's not very easy uh, this time during lockdown. But I do want to maintain my weekly challenge that I set myself uh, as well as provide something interesting for you to watch. I have been asked if I could cover flying into some interesting museums uh, with a little bit of background to those which is what I'm trying to do in this video. I've given you a random four to look at. Hotels downwind right hand, contact one ahead. Okay, hotel, would you keep your own separation, please? You know, we do anything for you. Thanks, John. Uh, we'll use well, the runway two seven with a right hand circuit. To make sure that John is landing before I can. Because you're not allowed two on the runway at the same time. Two zero one six and two seven right hand circuit. I will join overhead at 1500 feet. The uniform, Roger, keep a good look out, we are getting rather busy. I'll give us... Bravo Radio, Bravo, Bravo, Delta Victor, down, down, we for 27. Alpha Mill Yankee, Roger that, and uh, keep a good look out, we are Can starting you, to get uh, busy. Can you see John, yeah? Yeah, he's just, just about, about to touch there. <laughs> go back ahead, go find out. Right, white art, air brake coming down. Did you have a good flight? Yeah. That's alright then. It wasn't bumpy, was it? No. Oh, I she was, was just complaining she was getting hot. Okay, I was uh, I was given a present mid mid air. Really? Oh, Cakes and biscuits. One. Thank you very much. I didn't get one. <laughs> Got to complain about that. Yeah.
Angus, if you're watching this with Dan, look what I've done instead of the camera on the front cow. Can you see it? Okay, so you've got the silhouette of a jumbo against the R100. And if you look at the, the gondola, wasn't it? Yeah. So the gondola has got two propellers. And if Rob stands next to one of the propellers, it's absolutely enormous. Opeka Hotel, late final. Opeka Hotel, Rotterdam, the surface wind is 1605. Golf Oscar Romeo, downwind, contact one, late final. Golf Oscar Romeo.
Yeah. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, it's quite interesting. You got everything to hand. Oh yeah, it's a light. It's wider than I was thinking. Visibility. Well, no, I suppose you'd be it's sitting. Be you'd be off. sitting on your parachute, wouldn't you? So you'd be sitting so higher up. Yeah. Fancy crawling and forward, Tim? Up there. Okay. <laughs> or up there. You're going to give that a go? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Go on, then. Are you going to film from the front? Well, I might actually get in there. No, I didn't know whether you're going to go through the... I can do. I should go and film from outside. <laughs> There's no way you can get in there. Can't really see much through the front. How you doing? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of room. Go Feco Hotel, two mark final, two four graph. Pego Hotel, thanks, and are you visual with the one on left base that he'll be taking the hard? Uh, yep, contact the one on left base, Pego Hotel. Go down to D, just confirm your visual with the J Dell, he'll be going for the grass runway. Uh, negative, but I'm turning final now. Uh, visual with the uh, contact, Go down to the Go down to D, thanks, I'll call you back. Golf Echo Hotel, runway 24 grass, land your discretion, surface in 160 degrees, 8 knots. Uh, Golf Hotel landing. Golf Delta Zulu, it will be a late one, I just need the Joe Dell to uh, be on the ground before I can talk to you. Uh, Roger, Golf Delta Zulu. Interesting. Golf Delta Zini, when we do 2 4 hard land your discretion, surface in 170 degrees, 9 knots. Golf Delta Zini, we'll land I'll come off as quick as I can. Golf Echo Hotel, vacate right and park next to the Tobago on the grass. Okay, uh, next to the Tobago, Golf Echo Hotel.
Left Heathrow flies out towards Wales over the Bristol. It has to keep below the, um, the speed of sound because of shock weight. When it gets over the Bristol Channel, it went supersonic, they put the reheat on and they fly away. In its uh, supersonic cruise, the front end of the Concorde heats up to about 124, 130 degrees uh, Celsius. And at the end of the flight, the plane will be something like 10 inches longer than, than when it started the flight. Now, as they're approaching New York, um, the, uh, the air around JFK Airport, they'll put the visor down again and drop the nose five degrees. So they're beginning to slow down now. They're approaching the New York area, which is very busy with an aircraft passing around. So at this stage, our pilots will put the landing lights on, not really so they can see where they're going, but to make themselves visible. So if we can have the landing lights on, You'll see some of them coming down on the underbody, and we once they're fully down, they will illuminate. Yeah, just in case they don't illuminate. Right, okay. So they're now coming in, and unlike current aircraft, which come in with their nose about 3 degrees up, Concorde comes in with its nose about 15 degrees up, a bit like a swan or a puck coming in to land. So even though they've got the nose down a little bit, uh, they can't see the runway of the airport. So in this experimental aircraft, this was the one that did all the testing for about five years before the airline concourse came into service. This one can take its nose right way down to 17 and a half degrees. So we will now demonstrate the droopiest concourse of the lot. If we go down to 17 and a half degrees. So the, the pilots now, even with the head of the aircraft held up high, they can see the wrong way in the airport clearly. However, when the uh, after five years of testing, when the British Airways and uh, Air France pilots started flying this one, they didn't like it because they lose sight of the nose entirely. So the, all the production of boards actually did less than this. They put to 12 and a half degrees, which we can demonstrate on this one. If we do 12 and a half degrees, Mark Echo. So you ever used to walk 